I'm a little bit lost for words. What the heck happened today? What is, what is going on? <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Look, I, uh, I, I had a very interesting conversation on Facebook today. It's been a very divisive topic about the Trump election and also about the Women March. Now, I was just asking you an innocent enough question, although I knew this could have been met with a lot of uh, interesting opinions just about what the Women's March was. And I genuinely, genuinely was trying to find out information about what this march was about because I was looking and seeing the march on the media and I just was looking at it going, what are these people marching for? It looked like some people were marching for abortion rights. It looked like people were marching because Trump was going to bring in some uh, Muslim registration stuff. It looked like people were going to march because they wanted a better future for their kids. There was a whole lot of things that people were marching for, which, look, I'm all for people marching for things that matter to them. But the question I had was, what were they marching for? I even went to the website to have a look and the Facebook page and I couldn't actually find anything that actually said, we are marching because this. Now I'm on the Women's March website and this is apparently the page, I guess, that would tell me everything that I need to know about what this is about. Um, look, I'm reading it. I, I, I get it. I get what they're marching for, but I don't actually see anything specific about what they're marching for. As in, they're saying that they're going to march because they feel their human rights as women are being jeopardized. But I don't understand what part of Trump's policy is actually jeopardizing their freedoms, which some of my friends have explained to me. I get it. But at the same time, I really don't see anything. It's not linking to any of the um, the policies that Trump's talked about. It just says that we are marching against evil, which to me is very vague. One thing I did learn today is interesting reading all the threads. And I have to say, I think I've got this down. And today's topic is about how to start a successful flame war. Step number one. Find a very divisive topic. Now, I'll give you a couple of topics that can start you off if you want to start your own flame war on your Facebook thread. Anti-vaccinations is one of them. The Trump election is a very obvious one. Or climate change. Any of those topics currently are probably easiest ones to get people to start banging on about why any of these things are right or wrong. Step number two, bring an opinion and make it sound like fact. You, look, you don't even have to really do anything apart from make it sound convincing. It could be completely false, but if you make it sound like it's true, then maybe people will believe you. Step number three, legitimize your opinion by showing me a graph or pointing me to a website that backs up your opinion. Confirmation bias is exactly the name of the game here. Find something that completely backs up everything that you say. Whatever you said, find something on the internet that backs you up. That's the name of the game. Step number five. Now, if you can't back up your facts and the website has gone to pot and everybody's starting to attack you and telling you that you're just wrong, then what can you do? Well, that's the last step is to actually personally attack them. That's it, go after them, call them names, insult their intelligence, their age or their gender. Nothing is off the table. If you really want to infuriate somebody, attack their personality. That's the best way to get a rise out of somebody. You can argue them into believing your side of the argument. Now step number six, go back to step one and repeat the process on as many threads as possible. And soon the whole world will be in flames. I am a person who likes to discuss things. I'm not always the best arguer, but I like to discuss things. I promise you, if I start a divisive topic, it's because I genuinely want to find out more about the topic. I'm not always the most informed person, but I'm willing to listen to what you got to say. Regardless of whether I think it's right or wrong, I'm willing to hear what you got to say. But what bothers me is when people come onto threads and they already have their mind made up and they're not willing to listen to what the other person has to say. To me, that's not constructive. Anyway, guys, I love you all. I really do. And I'll see you guys next time.